Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload YouTube Shorts from your PC. This will also work on a Mac, any computer really. If you want to see how to do that quickly and easily, please stick around and I'll show you right now. This is going to be a simple tutorial about how you simply upload the videos and get them as shorts on your YouTube channel. It's not going to be about how you can create a short. I've been creating the shorts lately in Canva. They have a new template called YouTube Shorts that will help you create your vertical video. So I guess that's the, the only, there's only two real prerequisites to uploading, successfully uploading a short from your PC or Mac. That is, Number one, it has to be a vertical video. Um, and the vertical video is simply the normal HD, like 1920 by 1080, the other way around. The other prerequisite is it has to be under 60 seconds long. So I have a video here on my desktop of me playing the piano, and that goes for about 30 seconds. This is how we get that from our computer, from our PC, and pop it on YouTube. We go to the standard Create button where you would normally upload videos, click on that, and select Upload Video. I'm going to simply drag and drop my uh, video in. It's going to start uploading and I'm just going to not use my normal description. Give your short a title. And then one of the most important things is to pop a hashtag in the description and say shorts. Because you'll see that this has got the normal YouTube video link. This will probably take about 30 seconds to update. Great. You'll see now that the video link has the slash shorts in the title. That's how you know you've done this correctly. So you just pop a shorts in the description and it will tell YouTube, this is a YouTube short. Sometimes I've had problems uploading vertical videos from my computer. I've uploaded them and it hasn't immediately recognized it as a short for some reason. And it's just sitting there like a normal YouTube video, not going into the shorts. This will separate it from your normal videos and pop it in the shorts section. So you can even upload a thumbnail. Just make sure the thumbnail is in the vertical uh, as well. So you can actually do a vertical thumbnail in Canva if you want. Otherwise, you can select a thumbnail from the auto-generated ones right here. Pop it in a playlist, so I've got shorts as my playlist for this channel. As a general rule, we don't really add tags to the YouTube shorts. However, if you want to do that, it might take you know an extra 30 seconds to a minute when you're uploading. You can actually upload. These are some suggested by my little plugin, TubeBuddy. If you want to get TubeBuddy, I've got a link in the description showing you where you can get that for free. Um, that's suggesting some tags for me. It makes it a lot easier and, and a lot quicker to get them. Um, apart from that, I'm just going to have it in my normal category called music. And then from here, we go next. If you have your channel monetized, you can select to monetize it here. I'm not going to in this case. You generally do not add an end screen to shorts. You don't need to do that. Next, we go to the area where it does the checks. It's found there's no copyright issues. That's always good. And then after that, we have the visibility. We can make that public straight away. We can have it unlisted. So only somebody with the link will be able to find it. We can make it private if it's just for you. Or you can even schedule it for an, uh, uh, to be published at a later time and you can select the date and the time here. When you have selected what you want, I'm going to make this one private because I don't want to have this on my YouTube channel. I'm just going to hit save. If you had that on public, you would have published your YouTube short. Your YouTube shorts will show up if you go to your home screen and scroll all the way down to the bottom of your own YouTube channel. Down the bottom, we've got all the shorts down here. I usually find my shorts start getting views um, within a few minutes. Sometimes it sits on zero for a few hours and then it starts getting views. Some of my shorts, you know, roughly get four or 5,000 views. Others don't do very well at all. The idea with the YouTube shorts is to just upload a lot of them 
and you might get lucky. A lot of people might click on your thumbnail and it might start to go viral. And that's the hope with a short that you just get it on the, the viral sort of home screen of most people's YouTube. And then if a short can go viral, you can very quickly get a million views uh, as I did on one of my other YouTube channels. And then you'll get an influx of new subscribers. It's really good for your channel. I suggest you should upload between one and three shorts a day if you're being aggressive or just one a day if you they're very easy to create on your phone or on your PC. So that's how you upload a YouTube short from your PC or your Mac computer. If you found this content valuable, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.